kind of funny. I mean, it's not funny, but uh, for some reason, in San Francisco, so this is my... Is this my fifth day? Yeah, it's my fifth day or four, fourth full day here. And all I want to eat is Chinese food because there's a Chinatown nearby. It's like I feel like having some home food. Even though when I'm at home, I'm not ordering Chinese food. <laughs> and I don't make the same things but it's been very comforting and I've just been eating Chinese takeout basically every single day, even my breakfast this morning that's a western Hong Kong type of breakfast <laughs> I used to eat this with my parents in Hong Kong all the time and we would compare which one has the best flat noodle stir fried flat noodle with beef. We would compare how much beef and how much oil, <laughs> also the texture of the beef. This is all right, the beef. With this particular dish, why am I talking about this? <laughs> but I guess I, this is like a mukbang. On chao. In this particular Hong Kong dish, they always treat or tenderize the beef. Sometimes they go overboard and it ends up tasting like tofu. This one's moderate. Oil. Yeah, I was afraid of this. A little bit on the oilish side, but it's still pretty good. Today is officially week two of Billboard B number two. Thank you for continuing to support my album. Today's Get Ready With Me is going to be an album event here in California. It's going to be like an hour away from San Francisco by the bar train, but by car is like half an hour in Walnut Creek. A couple years ago, I made some friends at Steinway and so today they're hosting. I, like my New York one, have no idea still exactly what I'm gonna play because I kind of want this to be more interactive and less like a recital on stage. If you missed that one for whatever reason about my San Francisco recital, you can hear my thoughts on that. Actually, I have to film a segment right now after I eat, before I get out, because I didn't finish that vlog. I didn't sum it up. These kinds of events that I want to do with my album are more casual and more communicative by words, so it's kind of like half words, half playing. The New York one was fun, you know? I had a kind of German beer next to me and I was sipping it in between playing and talking. That was not actually intentional, but I was thirsty <laughs> and I just felt like, well, yeah, why not? I am over 21. <laughs> it was fun, so let's see if the second time will also be fun to talk about my album. So many things have changed because of the album. Well, mainly because of you listening to my album and buying and supporting, but it's been crazy month. I got invited to see an opera with the CEO of my management company, so that got me excited. I feel fancy, even though I have no makeup on right now. <laughs> I just filmed my ending segment of the previous vlog, which if you haven't watched it, go watch it. I'm now going to do something that I have not done before before a concert, which is go to an art supplies store and buy some pens because I lost them. I don't know what happened. I tried searching, 
the security guards were super nice to me and tried to find them in the hall, but somewhere between me signing your CDs in San Francisco Hips Theater and backstage and hotel disappeared. Actually, not even a hotel. I, I didn't have them during dinner, so don't know where they went. I'm sure whoever has them will love them. These are good pens and I'm gonna buy them now before I head over to Walnut Creek. So um, come to the supply store with me. Yay. because I don't know what I'm playing. Hey guys, I have got pop songs in my head. <laughs> I'm on a mission. I have a lot of ideas going on in my head and I need to buy a specific notebook, specific diary. It's a secret project, can't tell you, but uh, stick around and you might find out. I'm a pen and paper girl, so I gotta get my notebook. neighborhood is so different from downtown. Look at this. If you're new here, I take a lot of inspirations from going to museums and when I try
travel, I usually try to go to at least one museum. I'm gonna go explore and uh, hopefully get some inspirations too. It's my first technically day off because actually I don't have a day off. I have an interview in a couple hours on the phone and then I have a business meeting. So <laughs> it's not really a full day off. It's still nice to walk and do something so different from what I usually do. I don't know why I'm so cold. Okay,在一個海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的海上的